Uh, I actually started baking once I got out of high school. So I used to watch my grandma bake and stuff. So that's where I got my inspiration from. I started baking, well, at the age that I could remember. So I won't uh, pinpoint it to, uh, at what age, but I've always loved baking and cooking. So I started at the earliest age. My biggest fan is my mom. She is always pushing me to bake, even when you don't feel like it. She's like, just bake something just so you get a little bit of practice and so, so she's my number one baking fan. Oh, my favorite thing to bake. Um, I would say creme brulee, it's my favorite dessert. Um, and red velvet and cheesecake, those are the ultimates. Um, so if I win, I want to buy gifts for the family for Christmas. Um, probably spend a little bit myself. <laughs> and then yeah, the rest I want to save. If I win, uh, I, I would like to buy a digital camera to capture the moments of my creations. Um, if I win, I'll probably help my parents out. They have helped me a lot in COVID time, um, as well as put some money away for new Baba that has just arrived. Um, and then I'll probably just take the family out for a dinner. Just a very, very nice dinner with lots of sweets. <laughs> if I win, um, I'll be injecting the money into a little small business that I've started with baking cakes and cupcakes and this and I'm um, trying to grow that brand. Warm welcome to the Snowflake Ultimate Creations Competition, the very first one. To you the contestants, have a fantastic day and all will go well. So the way things are going to work today, you've got all of your equipment on your stations ready for you. You also have your ingredients ready. You will have to do your own way ups. We will have kitchen assistants uh, for today. They will be here to assist you with anything you need in the kitchen to familiarize you with it. You have now five hours. Let's start. Um, I'm making a spicy pumpkin sponge cake with cranberries, walnuts, and cherries. Okay, so I'm making a Christmas tree. The inside's going to be a chocolate mold. So it's going to be a chocolate that's set into a Christmas tree. Um, then inside's going to be a vanilla sponge with a raspberry compote and the amarilla mousse. Pistachio rose and raspberry cake with a rose and shoot, doesn't work with a rose and white chocolate um, mousse, a pistachio sponge, uh, and a raspberry cream. Right, Shays, you've got 10 minutes left. Exactly 10 minutes. Karula, I heard you singing in the kitchen today. Is that your happy place? Yes, it is my happy place. Whenever I'm in the kitchen, I always sing. So I was even singing lowly. I thought nobody had me <laughs> because I didn't want to disturb the other contestants. So Tato, I've got a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> today you had a bit of a, a little bit of an accident that happened and you had to rebake your cakes, mm -hmm. but you pushed through and I want to know a little bit about that drive that you have that actually caused you, I mean, an hour and a half, hour to finish off a cake rebake. I mean, that's not, that's not an easy task at all. You know, making mistakes is part of baking. And if you stop, then what's, what's the point? So for me, it was having to prove to myself that, you know what, um, you want this really bad, so you have to restart and lay out what you want to people to see instead of just giving them half things and then giving up midway. And besides, what kind of character does that show? We totally are blown away of what you have created today. The last three months, with all the challenges, it's been a tough journey determined 
who is going to go through to the final round and you are the four amazing contestants. It's been a, it's been a tough day in the kitchen for you chefs. Okay, so it's a, there's Amarula mousse inside with a raspberry filling, a white chocolate and then the cone, there's cake layers inside that as well. Oh, is there cake layers inside the cone? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I like the different like textures though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's not just a sponge, there's a different texture that comes through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The praline. The crunch. The, mm -hmm. the crunch. crunch. It's, it's a bit crunchy. Because it's a crunch of the yeah. pistachio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something that is tells a story when it's like when it's Christmas, you know, in the morning you wanna open a present and then be excited and then that's when you have the, the, uh, your boxes, your presents. And then the leaves are the open boxes. <laughs> the leaves are the open boxes, you know the papers the, that are yeah, inside. The tissue, paper the tissue papers inside, inside. Yeah, those are the papers inside. And then the inside of my cake is made out of uh, orange chocolate and cookies and cream sponge uh, with um, strawberry compote and strawberry mousse with uh, uh, garnish praline. Wow, then interesting flavors a bit of the And then it's covered in a, a Italian marine butter cream. The one thing that really is turning out these sponges are honestly they are so beautifully light mm. and they still retain their moisture. They are really, really well done. Um, judges, I have for you um, a combo of raspberry, rose and pistachio um, in the form of a sponge, a mousse and the likes. And I have chocolate work that has a little bit of surprises inside. Yeah, it kind of did not pan out as I would have liked because of having to start over and time. But it is here. Was that I'm your happy. biggest challenge today? Yes, yes. The cake not working for me was the biggest challenge because after that my confidence dwindled down. Um, but I managed to pick myself up and at least finish. Yes, yes. I hear you in terms of, of but like do you think it's only the beating which is an issue? How she was bringing everything to or the recipe itself. This cake can can be lighter. There is gluten development here. Mm. Yeah. There is gluten mm. development here. So if less folding in or less beating, it would have been lighter. Um, so it's like a fairy tale of pumpkin, cherries, cream cheese, um, a custard filling. Um, so everything that makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Um, and just a little bit of a twist on a fruitcake. Um, so a lot of people are crazy about a fruitcake, so I thought let me just put a modern twist to it. Fantastic. And so that was your inspiration? Yeah. And, and what was your biggest challenge with this cake when you were making it today? Um, I'll definitely say the cream cheese. Uh, uh, cherry cream cheese mousse filling. Um, yeah, it's a very um, it's a very fine line between splitting the mixture and not splitting the mixture. Um, and then obviously working with the fondant, you got to work very quickly in order for it to do what you want it to do. And she was quite clever using cherries that's currently in season. Yeah. She's the only one that really used yes. fresh cherries. They're currently in season, they're perfect for Christmas. What a challenging day for the four of you. Going through two kitchen, or two criteria, the kitchen criteria and the actual final product. Unfortunately, there's only two winners for the day. The main winner and then the runner-up. Our runner-up for today, for this challenge of 2021, Gorilla! The 
Congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations. And now the moment we've all been waiting for after a hard day of getting to this point. And now for the announcement for the 2021 Snowflake Ultimate Creations Competition winner. This deserving chef will walk away with 25,000 Rand in cash, courtesy of Snowflake Flower South Africa, a voucher of 55,000 Rand from the FBI Chef School and Pastry Academy. And the winner is... Part of my dreams have come true, so it's like on this path of just goals and just achieving them as I go along. So it feels awesome, it feels really amazing. Always try, never give up, even when it seems like you want to give up, just push through. And Snowflake is always your friend. So Snowflake's been there since I've grown up, so it will always be there, it's consistent.